So tonight I'm going to do something a little bit different than what I usually do. You know you're in London when you can hear helicopters, ambulance and police. We are in. We are safe. We are sound. I didn't think there would be people coming around at this time of night. Welcome back guys to another video. I'm going to try and attempt to do some stealth car camping in London tonight. I think I know of a location where I could potentially stay. However, I need to suss it out, see if there's any parking restrictions or anything like that, or if there's traffic wardens walking past. So doing this thing in London, I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be because I've not done it before. So fingers crossed, the potential place that I have in my mind, I should be able to find somewhere to stay for the night. It's already about 4.30 and it's almost dark, which means that it should be easier to be a bit more stealthy and a bit more subtle because the last thing I want is somebody coming knocking on the window in the middle of the night telling me I can't park there. Got the backpack on, got a bit of stuff here which I need to take with me, so We'll head off now and we'll try and find somewhere to stay for the night here in London. Helicopters everywhere. Whoa! Just all these residential houses with speed bumps, cars either side. Could stay somewhere like this, to be honest with you, but I think the spot I'm trying to go to will be a bit quieter and nicer. Uh, is this the right road? I don't know. Right, food has been acquired. I love it when people park so close to you that you can't even get out. Wow, now this person's coming, come on. Are you joking? Are you parking there or what? What are you doing? Jesus. What's she doing? Oh my God. Mucking about, everyone just pulls out in front of you. Christ almighty. I'm excited for tonight. Even though I'm not going far, I'm not in the countryside. Just doing stuff like this makes me feel like a kid. Especially during a time which is so low and crap where you can't do anything. Right, we're turning right here, ladies and gentlemen. Just don't kill the cyclists. The reason I've picked this potential place, by the way, is because it's quiet off the main road and there's usually not too many cars here. There's one car up on the left there. I'm gonna turn my light off just so I don't look suspicious. I'm probably being completely paranoid. Where is the least amount of light? Let's go here. Ooh. Ooh, jeepers creepers. Oh God. There's a parking sign just there. Okay, I think we've done it. Let me show you what this sign says. Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Permit holders. Pay at machine, display ticket, match day restrictions. You know you're in London when you can hear helicopters, ambulance, and police. So, front chair swiveled round as normal just to give that extra space. Obviously, the bed, my bag, got a sleeping bag, and stuff under here, and then electrics. I'm going to quickly get the back window covers on and the side window covers just so nobody can look in. Otherwise, it will look very suspicious that I'm sleeping in here tonight. Stay. Okay. We're in. It's funny that as soon as I get in the car, I just feel safe. <laughs> Say goodbye to the outside world. We are in. We are safe. We are sound. But I still have six hours, probably, until I go to sleep. So I'll cook up some dinner in a bit. I'm gonna turn the lights down because it doesn't need to be this bright. With my fancy remote control, this is what it looks like inside. And then I just chill here on the, uh, the passenger side, but I'll just turn these lights down so it's less obvious that somebody's sleeping in here tonight. 
For anybody actually wondering where I'm actually staying, I usually use this app called Park for Night, which I've showed in other videos. As you can see there, I am in London. I'm in the southwest area of Fulham. Usually I use the app and, you know, I pick a spot like this and it will say whether you can stay there or not. However, where I'm staying tonight isn't actually on the app. I'm just outside of a park or on the main park road called Bishop's Park. Craven Cottage, the football stadium, is just around the corner. So hopefully I'll be okay here. They'll be closing that gate around 8 o'clock, so fingers crossed nobody comes. They do have public toilets here which will be good for obviously tonight in the morning but whether they're open or not I'm not sure we'll just quickly check that out first before we do a lap of the park oh no damn it I was really hoping they were going to be open so behind me we have Craven Cottage which is Fulham Football Club's stadium they're rebuilding the stand one of the stands anyway but we don't like Fulham around here. I'm a Chelsea fan, so come on, you blues. This is Putney Bridge, and there are the London buses just coming over. Yeah. Uh, the cars up there, whether you'll make it, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're locking up now, and I'm in the bloody park. Thankfully, just made it out before they locked up. But they will be driving back past this road, back past my car, once they've locked it, and hopefully they won't say anything. So I might just sit in there until they drive past. That's it, they've locked the park. There shouldn't be anybody walking, jogging, cycling, walking their dogs. So the rest of the evening should be pretty chilled. And now I feel a bit safer that I can get on and cook without being interrupted. Because imagine if I got kicked out halfway through I'm making fajitas. That's not good. This is what it looks like, by the way, from the outside when all the lights are on inside. I've done a pretty good job at blacking everything out. So, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell that there was somebody in there sleeping. This is a great spot, actually, because it's quiet off the main road. Nobody can walk past now, or nobody should. And it's nice and level. For anyone interested, this is a proper single mattress. I've got two pillows, and then I'll use the sleeping bag later, when obviously I head off to bed. But it is very, very comfortable. I didn't think there would be people coming around at this time of night. Underneath my feet, underneath the bed, we have food, baby. Some chicken licking, some chopped garlic paste, some oil, some seasoned fajitas, smoky barbecue. If anybody's wondering, by the way, why am I sleeping in the car? rather than my bed at home. The answer is I just enjoy coming out and doing things in this car. It feels a bit more adventurous. Even though I'm still in London, I'm parked, you know, 20 minutes outside of my house, this is still fun for me. I know that's probably quite sad. And I always feel nice and safe and secure in here. Anybody else feel like that? This is my own space. Nobody else is gonna come in here apart from me. So I've created this all myself. It just feels Nice. Let's get this chicken cooked. I've not actually cooked raw chicken inside the car. Not that that's an issue or anything, but I hope it doesn't smell. A lot of weird noises going on outside tonight. I really hope I'm not gonna be disturbed. Probably need a bit more ventilation in here because I don't wanna get carbon monoxide poison. Oil in. In with the veggies we go. It's getting hot now. Ha. Huh. 
Chasing. Hugging that hot potato. So dinner is served. Chicken fajita wrap with peppers and onion. And I forgot the most important ingredient with this meal, which is cheese. Definitely not meant to fold a wrap up like a square, but that's how I eat it. Bon appetit, guys. Mm, delicioso. If any of you guys watching have any uh, quick, easy van food suggestions so that I can cook in my car like I have tonight, let me know because uh, my recipes and my meals that I choose to cook when I'm in the car like I am tonight are very few and far between. So I could add a few more dishes to my repertoire. I was potentially thinking about getting a Chinese diesel heater, I think it's called. However, I think there's quite a lot of installation work that goes into it. I think what I'll do when the temperatures really start to drop, I'll just put on more layers or maybe get like a hot water bottle, something like that. I don't think I'm gonna be sleeping in this when it's, you know, minus 20 outside, although that would be quite a fun experience, which I might do in the future. For the moment, it's just about manageable with a good sleeping bag and some good winter layers on. The temperature tonight currently actually is, oh, can you see that? four degrees in London and it's going to drop down to two degrees so that's not too bad if any of you are wondering where I'm going to the toilet as they're locked from earlier nature just a wee anyway we'll go outside one last time I'll show you where I'm sleeping go to the toilet and then yeah head off to bed right let's do this I hope nobody's out here Otherwise, they'll think, what a, oh my God. God, can you see how cold it is? You can see my breath. Well, I can see my breath anyway. God, this is such a perfect road. You wouldn't even believe or even think that I'm in London, but I can promise you, I am. There's the car. And there is nobody around. Just this way is the park that I walked in earlier. Over there are some residential houses. This is why I kind of picked this area because I knew it's quiet. Definitely dropped in temperature, a bit foggy and misty, which is quite nice, atmospheric. Still can't lock the boot, by the way. Had the windows fixed, which was great, but still cannot lock the boot without the alarm going off. Central locking system just is not working. Right, time to get ready for bed. Shoes off, doors are locked. Get the sleeping bag out. I've kept the socks on because always need to keep socks on to keep a bit warmer. We're all tucked in, ready for bed. Hopefully it might be a bit foggy and misty. I'm sure in the morning I'm gonna wake up and there's going to be a lot of dog walkers going around here. But I'll let you know in the middle of the night if I get woken up or disturbed. But so far, it's been pretty quiet. So catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Jesus. It is freezing. Good morning. Camera lens is all condensated up. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Dogs barking outside, and this is the view. People outside walking. I have to be honest, that was an absolutely awful sleep. Not because of any noise or anything like that. I just was constantly waking up and it was freezing cold. It dropped down to zero degrees because I woke up around three o'clock in the morning, checked my phone. And yeah, it was zero degrees right now. I think it's, what temperature is it? Yeah, one degree. <sighs> right, I'm gonna get dressed and then head on out of here because after nine o'clock, which it is now, I need to pay for parking, which I don't want to do. But I'll get changed and then I'll show you in the daylight where I was staying last night. 
<laughs> Isn't it bad putting on cold clothes? Quite a lovely foggy misty morning actually which I knew it would be because even last night it was uh, building up to be like this I think it's safe to say that winter is here this is definitely one of the colder mornings in a long time These conditions are great for a bit of photography or something. God, you can't even see the river. The river is about two meters from me. Here is the River Thames. Right, let's see if the toilets are open this morning. Oh, it is cold, I tell you. Very, very cold. It's all well and good having a seat belt. Yeah, loads yeah, loads yeah. of food space. The car is just over there, behind those trees. Right, time to head on out of here because I don't want to get a parking ticket. But first we've got to warm up the car because I cannot see a thing at the minute. Right guys, we are almost defrosted. The car is nice and toasty and warm now, but I'm gonna finish the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different video of a bit of stealth car camping in London. It was good fun, good to get out of the house, good to try and find somewhere for the night where I could potentially stay in the future, because it's always handy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and you want to see more travel content. As always, I shall catch you in the next video. Peace.